Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 6 and today we're taking a look at the 1957 BMW iSetter 300X Sport. So yeah, this is a micro car from the 50s when uh, micro cars and economy cars were at their well general uh, infancy. Uh, rear engine rear wheel drive cars were hugely popular at the time with the likes of the VW Beetle and the Fiat 500 and this was easily the smallest and weirdest of the lot quite frankly. Because yeah, this is really, really small. I mean, really small. It's the same height as a 1965 Mini at 53 inches, but this is 90 inches uh, long, whereas the Mini is 121 inches long. So yeah, 31 inches smaller than a Mini. Uh, but obviously a Mini is more practical, etc. Because, yeah, this can only seat two people. Three people at a push if you're really, really small. And luggage-wise, well... Luggage wide is decent, you've got a rear wheel, uh, spare wheel in there as well, and you've got that rack on the back. But yeah, still a mighty, mighty small car, as we'll see when we get inside. Yeah, there's a gearbox there. It's really small, like I said, everything in here is small. It's really, really uh, pegged down. You've got your heater controls there. Uh, see what that other thing says and then yeah you pull it forward and then the steering wheel comes in and then there you go you start it from there and then you got a instrument cluster and then your uh, indicators etc and then you just use the door handle and get out so yeah this car was manufactured right across the world quite frankly it was manufactured in Brazil France UK and obviously Germany because this is BMW but it was originally uh, made for the Italian market by an Italian manufacturer uh, and yeah, microscopic little uh, engine on it as well. Everything about this car, like I said, is small, including the engine. Now this engine, this car originally had a smaller engine in the Italian market, but due to German regulations, they had to increase the size of the engine. So yeah, it's a 298cc one-cylinder four-stroke engine, producing 13 horsepower and 14 pounds-feet of torque. Now, like I said, in my uh, review of the car pack. This is the uh, least powerful, smallest car on the game with the smallest engine in the game as well. So yeah, absolutely s tiny in every way quite frankly. <laughs> Especially in terms of uh, yeah, rear wheels. <laughs> it originally had a rear, only rear one, one rear wheel but they had to put two in to stop it from rolling over. And the reason why the wheels are so close is to eliminate the need for a differential so yeah saving weight and money but also making sure it doesn't roll over so decent compromise there and yeah there was f 161,000 of these made uh, but quite frankly they're uh, pretty rare right now as far as I'm concerned I've never, not really seen, never seen one in real life despite obviously them being sold in the UK but yeah uh, we're gonna take this out onto the track because yeah it's really rather a, a treat to drive it on the track even though it's not all that good. So uh, yeah, see you when we get there. So yeah, welcome to Rio de Janeiro. We're on the mountain circuit. We're only going to do one lap, so I will be talking through this. Because yeah, no one's got time for going around in this car for two laps. And yeah, as you can see, speed isn't really something on its side. <laughs> But I can see the point of it really, because yeah, if you're in a small, uh, well, in a large city or you're in a small city and roads aren't really all that wide, or you really want something that's economically sound, because yeah, you could get at least 70 miles per gallon out of this thing, and you're only really driving small distances, you could uh, really see the point in it, because yeah, it'd certainly save you a lot of money. And certainly would be useful in a, a, a city that has small streets. And yeah, only problem is, really didn't solve the rolling issue in this car, as you can see. But yeah, I can see the point of it in that terms, but anything outside of that small little niche really doesn't make any sense to me at all. Though they did uh, actually race this in Mil Milly Miguel, that Italian race, I think it's Italian. Yeah, travelled a thousand miles in this thing. Actually came all top three, I think, in uh, the economy car class. So yeah, 
economic-wise, it's solid, and in a uh, weird little way, it's endearing. But as you can see, with anything resembling a hill like right now, it struggles. But it's fun to have on this game because, like I've always said, variety is the best thing about this game right now. And quite frankly, you can't say that this game has any rivals right now in terms of variety. So yeah, it's fun to have it in the game. I'm sure it would be hilarious to drive if you put even more power through it. Which I am going to, by the way. I will have an extreme power no handling video of this car. Because that is going to be absolutely uh, hilarious. But yeah, you can make the most of its power with it only weighing 920 pounds. Which is really, really light. Way lighter than a Mini or even a Fiat 500. And yeah might only be able to do 53 mile an hour but like I said if you're in a small city or in a place where speed really isn't relevant like in a place without motorways or anything like that that certainly do you and uh, yeah if I lived in a small city that had small streets I'd uh, certainly consider it just yeah don't go try uh, going up against anything bigger than yourself because you will inevitably die in a crash with this thing anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one